We got our permission to operate from PG&E. We found out about 15 minutes ago. So even though it's eight o'clock at night, we're turning the system on. Okay. And it'll probably take about five minutes before everything is powered up. And obviously it's dark out, so we won't get any solar tonight, but tomorrow morning we'll be rocking. Hey guys, I'm here with a tree update. Um, before we decided to get the solar glass, we knew that we were gonna have to trim a couple trees because we were getting a lot of debris on the roof before. And so we knew we needed to trim the trees. After running the system for a day, we discovered that we would be better off just completely removing the trees. One of the trees was almost dead anyway, so there wasn't much left after trimming it. And the other tree was like, there wasn't much to it except for a huge stump. So we just, took took them both down, trimmed a couple other trees, and now we've got some great data to show before and after the tree trimming. So we saw about a 29% increase in solar production after we trimmed the trees. Prior to trimming the trees, we started losing sun around 11 a.m. We saw a decline. After trimming the trees, we were still producing well after one o'clock. Around 3 p.m., we still start seeing some shade on the roof, but those are from our neighbor's trees and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. It is still February, so um, I'm thinking once we get into April, May, June, we're going to be really generating a lot of energy. Hey, if you want to know more about solar glass, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing more videos. We read all your comments. We've got lots more information coming. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos, but be sure to subscribe. Bye.